everyone! In this short video, I will demonstrate how to extract a text field from a lookup field. So we're not seeing that GUI that gets displayed when adding a lookup field to Power Automate. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter to stay connected. And let's get started. The first thing we want to do is navigate inside of our solution. I'm going to use the previously created Trip Planner application. If you want to see the full application being built, please check out my previous videos. Once you're in your solution, you're going to click on New, Cloud Flow. This will take you to the Flow user interface. And you're going to start typing when a row is added. And this should populate the Dataverse um, Power Automate trigger. So you're going to click on that. You're going to select Create from this drop down. And we're going to go with the trips table because this is our main table and we'll be able to create a lookup into this table so that we're able to grab the name field from a different table. The scope is going to be organization. Then we're going to click on new step and you're going to start typing get row by ID. And this is where we're going to select the table that is related to this table where we're actually going to take that field from that separate table. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and grab the destination city. So we're going to be using this destination city lookup to create our flow. So if I go in to choose a table, I'll be able to see this and this will populate and you'll be able to see some dynamic content you're going to look for that uh, destination city or whatever your table is that is related and you're going to select the one that has value next to it this is going to bring that value out which is that GUID and then we're going to transform it and bring out the specific field from that lookup that specific field for our instance is going to be name. So if I go into here, you'll see that I only have two fields inside of destination city. We want to bring out name instead of bringing out that GUID if we didn't do the step. So we're going to start typing compose and then in inputs, then we'll be able to get that get row by ID. We'll that will match the action step up here. And that's when we know that we have grabbed the correct um, table. So here you'll only be able to see the fields that are corresponding to your lookup. So we're gonna select name, and then we're going to add a new step, which is a conditional. This is uh, just an extra step that I'm adding. You don't necessarily have to go in this direction, but in order to get this demo done, I'm going to add a step to send an email. So I'm going to say if the output of this compose, which is up here, is equal to, and I'm just going to select West Palm Beach, and this is just an example, you know, yours is going to look different. If the output of the lookup value which is composed to name. So now we'll be able to grab that name from that destination city is equal to West Palm Beach. We're going to send an email to myself. So just start typing email. Well, I guess add send email to the beginning. That way we get Outlook. We're going to select this version two. And I'm just going to send it directly to this demo tenant that I have. And here is very cool. So I'm going to say something like, thanks for choosing. And then I'm going to get that output that comes out of that compose that we created up here. So instead of getting that GUID, you'll see that we'll be able to get the exact name and something similar here, you know, same thing. We don't have that much to work with. You can either choose the output option or 
the name option or you know the other one other field that we have um, and that is how we'll be able to get each of them out. So let's go ahead and test this. So I'll go ahead and save. And then we're going to trigger a manual test. And then once that gets going, we'll go back here and we're going to create a new trip. All right, now it's running. Now it's looking for that trigger. So we're going to create a new trip. And we're going to make sure we select West Palm Beach because that's what our conditional is. Put in some dummy data in here. I wish I was going next week. And personal. Save it and go back to see if your flow is running. Looks like it ran successfully. We can go into our Outlook and give it a look-see. And we see that we got the email with the output correctly. And as you can see here, we've added the dynamic output as well as the name, as well as the abbreviation. And everything comes out as a text field instead of a GUID. And there you have it, it's that simple. Feel free to reshare this post on LinkedIn and Twitter for anyone you think might need it. Take care, everyone.